So I am back at it with another comparison video. This time I'm comparing the uh, 5 liter Vivor keg with the 4 liter Growler Works keg. Uh, this Vivor does come with a extra cap and a uh, spare gasket. The issue I have with a spare gasket is by the time you need it, you've probably already lost it in the depths of your junk drawer. Anyway, I've already looked in my other video as to how this works, uh, so I'll just give a quick recap. Basically, you have the, um, I believe this is double walled. Yeah, it feels thick. So this is, um, this looks to be a double walled uh, keg. The uh, tap handle is kind of a neat feature. It can fold down for storage so that it doesn't accidentally um, pop open. It also um, is one of those tap handles that um, uh, pulls up a stopper on the inside. And uh, the CO2 cartridge just pops into here. You need a unthreaded CO2 cartridge. Then on the top here it has some uh, uh, positions for, uh, this is for low pressure and this is for higher pressure. Uh, I think it said 7 PSI and 12 PSI for those spots. And let's see. In terms of cleaning, I feel like I can get my fingers in here pretty well. This also has a neat little screw here, which if you unscrew, you can use a um, uh, little brush to get at the, I guess you can't see it, but there's a... Um, a metal pipe that goes down to the bottom to extract the beer or liquid as you're trying to get out. So um, this seems like a pretty well designed thing. Great for carrying uh, on the go. Um, the Vivor on the other hand, so it has, it's a little bit taller as you can see. Um, I put this on sideways so that it's easier to pour without uh, foaming things up. This one does come with a uh, pressure gauge and you can adjust the uh, pressure more finely with this thing. One nice thing is that it does have a uh, uh, pop-off valve for if you get it uh, too carbonated. The thread of this one is a lot nicer than in... Oops, sorry than in the um, uh, four liter version of this, which I already looked at as a comparison. Um, this seems to be a lot easier to clean this way as well. Although it still has a bunch of, you know, appendages. Uh, this part I hope probably won't get very gunked up because this is the input of the CO2. Um, again, this has the CO2 on the outside. So if you need to replace the CO2 and add more, you don't have to open up the keg to do that. So that's a nice feature. The tap handle is a pretty standard um, tap handle, nothing extra special. Um, in my previous experience, there uh, usually this uh, tends to get gunked up with, um, uh, with beer or soda or whatever. So uh, you have to take this off, clean it out. Not a big deal. For cleaning this one, so the the hole is uh, pretty small, pretty tight. Uh, you could probably get a brush in there. This is a looks to be a single wall, so um, it'll be good for keeping in the fridge, but uh, not as good for camping or anything like that. Keeping your beverage cold outside of a fridge. Uh, other than that, yeah, uh, both are pretty nice design. I do like how it does come with a, uh, a seal cap, just in case you don't want to actually carry around this thing and uh, and just have your beer sealed up or getting it from the uh, brewery. Have them fill this up, carry it home, and then you can pop this thing on there to serve. So that's it.